Jim. Sounds like a bad connection or ground, bad ground. Yeah, I know. That's Live. Folks, Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard, Margu. The tri generational campaign is upon us. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. If this is your first time here, hang on to your ass. If you've been here before, you're already hanging on, so you already know. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap like this shirt or this phone case or a duvet cover or a throw pillow, or even a skateboard, check out our tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. It's our swag shop. Also, murderhobocon.com uh, swag is also available there. I'm not wearing my shirt, but I do have one. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, uh, both here and for Murder Hobo Con. We've got at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter to make your custom dice that are almost guaranteed to kick the shit out of your players uh if your game stinks not like ours but you know maybe your dm shoddy not like me because i'm quality uh adventure sense by oddfishgames.com they will clear up any stench except for your players wasteful attempts at humor uh they also have something called oh, shine man. system uh, to help you learn how to write much more gooder. So check them out at Odd Fish Games. Uh, we'd also like to thank Math Productions. And I, I already told him I was going to crucify the name. He knows it. Uh, Math Productions, if you need some uh, battle maps, uh, some cool shirts and things of that nature, check them out. They are our newest sponsor at MurderHoboCon.com. And again, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but we're throwing a convention called MurderHoboCon.com. Uh, we, we, we recently noticed a fluctuation in ticket prices. That has been addressed. Uh, it's going to be one price. Buy your badge. Get in. Sign up for your games for free. Uh, and uh, enjoy the day. That is Sunday, August 1st, a couple weeks from now. Uh, it's an all-day event, and any money we get after the bills are paid goes to the American Cancer Society because it is a charity convention, uh, and I don't have to deal with the IRS. So it's a win-win for everybody. Folks, I've told you this is the Margu slash tri-generational campaign. Uh, before we go into a small recap, uh, since it's been two weeks, let's go ahead and introduce you to the players. Our senior member of the crew is up first. Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing Leaf, the less than considerate druid. I am Frank Sr. Very nice. Uh, Jason will be back momentarily. Uh, the youngest member of our group, Frank Jr., who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Manfane, and that's it. I have yep. nothing left to say. Chelsea? Uh, that's what, apparently, I've been named by my father now. I'm Chelsea, I guess. And your father will be joining us shortly, and he is Robert of Zeppelin, correct? I will be here soon. I guess it looks like he's trying to steal your thunder, your limelight, your intro. Uh, Nicholas, cop him. What? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I just it. Always a pleasure to deal with you. 
<laughs> Thank you. It's, your scintillating commentary is a mark on this game. Uh, last but certainly not least, Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? I am playing the Gnomish Witch, uh, Kopi's Volbitters the Third of the Volbitters Brewery fame and recent uh, uh, hostile mogul with his partners in crime uh, as we slowly take over this portion of the continent, at least as mercantilism goes. I believe the word was alienate this portion <laughs> of the continent. Uh, a lot of portions of the continent are alienated for you guys at this point in time. Folks, uh, there is a lot to go over. So in the words of Anito Montoya, I will sum up. Uh, these guys have been rampaging through the eastern lands of Margu. They currently find themselves in the Halfling Kingdom. Uh, they are in a small town called Triorki. This is their second visit to Triorki. Uh, the first visit uh, included a cure for lycanthropy of the aforementioned Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, they ended up possibly, maybe indirectly, unleashing a dragon. Uh, which they fought, uh, which they defeated, which they survived through. Unfortunately for them, uh, a halfling general of the Pachyderm Corps came in and uh, to brush aside some irregularities in their lifestyles, uh, he has taken credit for the kill. Uh, these guys gladly made the trade uh, and they return to Triorki uh, to find uh, some individuals who used to be at the roadhouse, which they were no longer welcome at, which burned down, uh, looking for a job. They have currently gone ahead and made arrangements to hire these individuals, uh, hire some goods and services, hire some uh, raw material, because they want to rebuild it. Uh, along with this mercantile system, uh, one of their zonkeys, their prized mounts, uh, turned out to be pregnant with some kind of aberration, courtesy of Leaf the Druid. It was unleashed last week. It is an egg-shaped creature with satyr legs uh, and a ravenous appetite. Uh, also, Haggis Crabstain has found himself a crested duck. Uh, last week, or last time, they also encountered members of a gnomish cult called the Insane Clown Posse, uh, and they have had their troubles there. We begin tonight with uh, the youngest and the eldest currently. Uh, Leaf, you are still in the stable being relegated to the animals as you hide out from the military whom you ran from last time. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to continue to hide and make sure everything in the stables is secure at this time. D12 against me. That's a one. That's an 11. You will not be molested at this point in time. Uh, you do notice that uh, Copious V. Bitters' is, uh, Zonky uh, is on the mend after having given birth to the aberration. So, you may remain in the stables and not be bothered by others. Uh, da, 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 da. Manfang, Haggis, and Copius, you along with Robert and uh, AJ, who is not here today, uh, are in the tavern. Uh, the insane clown posse has been shoo -shoo shooed away. Uh, members of the military are present, uh, and they are currently sitting down for supper. Uh, you guys as it is evening meal time, are now, for once, uh, not being bothered by anybody. What would you guys like to do? What, what's the status of our employees at this point? They are milling about preparing uh, your wagon, uh, gathering the raw materials and trying to figure out how to heft them uh, for those items that will not fit on the wagon. Uh, they are also, unbeknownst to you, bartering uh, to an old friend of yours who used to have an ostrich feather to see if he can also carry some of the items. And Hugo's supposed to deliver some of the, the uh, fabric to the site, the work site, yes? Hugo is leaving now. He has had enough of your shit and three old people. Um, and as part of our agreement with Hugo, now that he's going to be a distributor of old bitters, finest ales, 
Um, has he contracted with someone to put the Volbitter's logo and copious image on the side of his wagon yet? Uh, you do not know. Okay. Because you have I, not had any contact with him. I will make sure if he's about to leave the status of the deliveries and make sure we have some of our employees going out to the work site if he's going to drop fabric out there so that it doesn't get stolen. Fair enough. Uh, as you walk out, uh, Manfang and Haggis, what are you doing inside the tavern? We're into, isn't that one, isn't like the general inside the tavern? Yes. She, or no, the captain. The, the captain, captain and the lieutenant. Neither one of them give a shit about you guys. She um, doesn't care about us? Fantastic. I don't want her to. All right. Hey, it's Remember? nice to meet it's nice to meet you. Are you trying to start a conversation with her? Yeah, because you said you didn't want to deal with them. So no. Well, well did the, the well, she she's the one that wiped off the insane clown posse makeup. Isn't he still doesn't Man Fang still have some sort of mark, maybe that she she already wiped it off. Okay. So, I'm not part of the insane. He will forever be marked in her eyes, though. Yeah. So you two He's are going to try and <laughs> you two are going to try and charm the captain. Sure. Okay. Uh, give me a charisma roll there, Hoggis. I'm just going to watch him. That's I wouldn't I'm say I'm. I'm not charming. Uh, I'm not charming. I'm just engaging her in conversation. You know you're not charming. That was <laughs> <a good question. laughs> we got that. Um. Plus one. So 14. Uh, Captain Selena uh, rebuffs your engagement uh, with impunity. Her second in command, Lieutenant Chang, says, We're trying to eat. I know. I'm just, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to get something from the bar and because they're at the bar, right? Uh, they they and their troops are at several tables. Okay, then I'm going to, I don't know, get something to eat. Sit down. Fair enough. As you leave I'm the... Blended. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you leave the tavern, Copious, give me a perception check. It is 15. Uh, you see uh, rather... Squat, squat woman uh, whom you recognize as having a problem with Robert of Zeppelin. This is the lady who owns the house with the pigeons. She has in her hand several pieces of paper and is talking to an equally elderly portly man, possibly her spouse, about it. He takes the papers and heads towards the tavern. Thank you. Uh, so she seemed agitated talking with her spouse? Uh, give me an insight check. 17. Not overly so. Uh, you can tell that there's something, but it is not outwardly aggressive or angry. Do I know that the portly gentleman she was talking to is also associated with the pigeon house? You do not. Okay. Um, so I will... Copious will walk over and try to accost him in a friendly manner and see if he can um, ascertain what all the paperwork is through conversation while he's talking to him, just trying to see if he can see what's on there, knowing that we have one posters of this crew floating about everywhere. You do not know that AJ has one, correct? I don't know. I, I, I think know. AJ stuffed it into his shirt. And disappeared. Uh, yeah. From so, you mean from the the uh, the mail the mail the post. Yeah, he, he didn't show anybody. Oh, yeah. He, he yeah. showed no one. So as you go up up from the bounty hunter. That's correct. It. As you go up and approach the man, uh, he seems very pleasant. Uh, the sheaf of papers appears to be, uh, for lack of a better term, news stories. Uh, he asks, uh, "How may I help you?" Uh, he, uh, copious being is as a business person is just he's going to try to play it off as trying to get to know folks and since we're setting up business here at the at the new you know the repairing and restoring the old trading post we're just trying to get to know some of the locals and see what sort of services they offer that we can connect with uh, through the trading post and that's that's how copious is going to play it off if it's a news news thing and we and I noticed him flipping through the pages and then looking at copious yeah, he says, uh, according to my information, uh, you guys are, uh, oh, 
uh, headed west to rebuild the roadhouse, are you not, or is my information here incorrect? Nope. I, Copius is just going to say, that's exactly right. We're, we're working on that right now. We're trying to get everything squared away. And he, Copius is going to ask if that's, uh, if this gentleman is familiar with Heine Ken. Yes. Uh, all right. Copius will say she is going to be the new general manager. So once we get out to side and get things underway, she's going to take over while we head east. <clears throat> towards the, the road, the roadhouse was west. Well, we're going to go get the roadhouse set up and started. And once it's underway, Heineken, as the general manager, will finish everything. And then our crew will continue its trek to the east. Capital. Capital idea. Capital idea. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go give a daily notification at the tap. Copius will feel very pleased with himself, uh, you know, thumbs in his lapels and, and walk, walk towards the stables. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you catch Hugo Boss before he leaves. Seven. Nine. Nope. Uh, you can see his wagon. If you hurry, you might be able to catch up to him. Uh, keep in mind, there is a pig lizard out there. Copious. <laughs> no, I saw that Grisnack looking thing, pig lizard running. Copious isn't chasing down the wagon in the dark. Or... Uh, you do notice uh, that uh, he has in tow four members of your crew, they have already figured out what they need to do. And a free ride is a free ride. There might be some kind of reciprocation, ask, gas, or grass. Nobody rides for free, something of that nature. Uh, you, you are in the region of the stables and give me a perception check to see if you spot leaf. Uh, I'm thinking I, if I can, I did because I have an 18. Yep. Leaf, uh, go ahead and give me a perception roll. 27. Uh, you also see Copious kind of running down the road, but coming to a halt uh, and looking over at the stables. It appears as though you both see each other. <laughs> so do at, at this time, does Copious know that that monstrosity that came out of his zonkey was from Leaf? Or do I, I believe suspect it? Haggis uh, rolled an investigation roll last time, and there was some similarities to your party druid, possibly eyebrows. You aren't really sure. Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm going to look around the sta stables just to see if there's a crossbow because it looks like we're time for a crossbow wedding. Because so the druid Copius is going to ask Leaf if he's going to make an honest donkey out of his donkey at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I can get me a little cart now that I own two zonkeys. Oh, you don't you don't own my zonkey. Oh, I'm sorry. You were wanting me to pair up with you your zonkey. It's going you with me, big haven't boy. Haven't married it yet. This I agree really there's sick. a dowry that's owed to Kobe well, for number, tracing number, his zonkey. Number one, Leaf, as you see him, doesn't mingle with animals. Number one, you're a druid. That's just pure, that. pure disgusting. <laughs> Copious is all, of, he agrees. So, so you have nothing to do with that monstrosity running around this town now? What monstrosity? I didn't see any monstrosity. That two-legged -leg, two pig lizard that's running around that ate the stable boy? I he didn't, was on the far end of town. At that I time. didn't see any such thing. He was in the form of a jaguar or uh yes i was leopard or something and yeah when you're running around town as a jaguar you couldn't smell the pig lizard no the aberration that's literally running around this town oh in his defense you guys were all centered in town some of you went north when you heard screams some of you went south uh chasing the uh halfling ranger yeah so, uh so he's he's denying any association with with I wasn't offspring, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I was chasing a ranger. Yeah, so Copius will explain what he's talking about because he he still can't scrub from his mind the pig lizard that and, clearly came out of his zonkey. And I still can't help but believe that Copius just once again exaggerating. Sure. Sure. Which Let's he is so, so good at. So I'm going to tell uh, Leaf, uh, you know, hey, this evening, just to be careful, 
the pig lizard that was birthed by my zonkey ate a stable boy and then ran into the woods. But you keep saying pig lizard. What what the hell's a pig lizard? Imagine something that's a giant mouth with sharp teeth and two legs and a pig nose. And white satyr feet. And satyr feet. And satyr feet. Oofs, yeah. I, I, I can't even imagine that. Yeah. With a striped, striped I, furry exterior. I still don't understand what that has to do with me. Really? Really? I know. I know. When Haggis was looking at Haggis said, what? That looks a lot like Leaf. He's the Apparently. only horn dog in our party, so. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> You're forgetting somebody that's not here tonight. But he wouldn't do it with an animal. Who, Felix? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you better uh, watch what you're saying there, bud. How much money you got in that pouch of yours? I, it's, it wouldn't be Felix. It wouldn't be Felix. He wouldn't do that. Uh, there's not a lot of evidence to support that. But anyways, I'm only mentioning this because there's a good chance the pig lizard will come back to the stables for a bite to eat. Okay. And what does it look like again? I the, the the copious is still trying to just bury the memory of that disgusting creature running around town. It's an egg-shaped but, creature with striped furry uh, exterior with a beak-like uh, protrudence with sharp fangs and satyr feet and no arms. It would have been cooler in in uh, copious's mind had it still been encased partially in the egg. Sadly, I didn't think of it that far ahead. Because that would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, Manfang and Haggis inside. Uh, Haggis is going for some grub. Manfang, what are you going to do? Um, well, there's the general. So, we're in the tavern. Correct. General's eating with their soldiers. Mm -hmm. Anything else going on? Uh, seems as though this is a. Uh, focal point for most of the villagers as they come in and get a meal and share camaraderie and interesting tales throughout the day. Since you guys blew up a uh, wagon, uh, that seems to be the vast majority of the chatter until the door slams open and a man, uh, receding hairline, kind of short squat, rings a bell and marches <laughs> yes, and marches through uh, <laughs> the crowd. He is lifted up onto the bar where he stands with a full sheaf of papers. And he goes, it, he talks with a slight stutter. So he begins with that, that, Dave, notice. Uh, globally speaking. <laughs> I mean, is that what you say? No, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. uh, I'm not yelling that. I'm not that stupid. He takes uh, the first sheet, sheet of paper and says, uh, uh, apparently the Amigo family singers have been taken into custody for theft charges. General Esteban Montoya reports uh, individuals believed to have swindled uh, members of the uh, chorus. Uh, part two, uh, the Roadhouse Guild is looking into a fire that claimed uh, the existence of Smidgey's Roadhouse. Uh, there is an errata on here that says uh, Red Dragon presumed to have started fire. However, looking into further evidence involving a group of patrons. Uh, follow up on previous story, General Esteban Montoya has defeated a red dragon. Uh, commander of the Pachyderm Corps uh, has reported that he has killed a creature by himself as his men watched on. Uh, the creature did claim the life of several individuals. Note, explorers are expected to stream into the area for business and work. So everybody prepare for an influx. Uh, the, 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 the day's news locally. Uh, an aberration has been spotted on the north side of Triorki, uh, claiming the life of Mika, the stable hand. Uh, some parts of Mika 
still MIA. Uh, we also have reports from Hugo Boss that Light Reach is been presumed to have been washed away by the tide. That doesn't make much sense since it was uh, surrounded by cliff walls. This I will have to check sources on this. Uh, Sisters of the Moon have obtained a powerful magic item and abandoned their abbey. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, Hesa has grown a 12 stone pumpkin. Now of all the information that he's dished out on, everybody kind of looks at it calmly. Uh, with the exception of the red dragon, that seems to have sparked some fear. But the notice that Haysaw has grown a 12 stone pumpkin garners a large amount of clapping and adulation. There you go. One individual stands up and takes a mighty bow. Uh, he is a ginger. I want to go talk to that guy. I, Fair want, to, I want to go see his pumpkin. Fair enough. That's the end of the day's news. Thank you very much. Chelsea. That's all folks. But Chelsea. Right. Yeah, but I, but Chelsea. Yeah. We could, you know, if we um if we go that's your name, isn't it? If we go to the Abbey, we could loot that place. No, if the, the sisters really are there. The sister. We could make our own church. They abandon the property. We can pretty much take it. You know, the, the only way nah. Yeah, but listen, no. somebody somebody's already been there. They wouldn't have known they abandoned it. Well, they and probably they, left it because well, they. What do you mean stuff. they abandoned it? They could have taken their stuff. They could have taken their stuff with them. Also, we have to check out that graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> roll up your new character at level one. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna roll up mine because the Abby is so by herself. I'm gonna go talk to Pumpkin Man. I would like to raise my hand to the newsletter man. Directly east. Okay. And uh, there was report of the aberration in the woods north of Treorchy at this point, right? You and Leaf do not know that, though. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I would like to. So Haggis is going to deal with uh, Gopher. Uh, is that the newsletter guy? That's the newsletter guy. Okay. And Manfang is going after Haysaw. Yep. So we'll start with Haysaw first. Uh, he is eating a huge, huge pile of dumplings. I mean, it would make your belly sore, a uh, man saying. Uh, and this guy is just two-fisting it with spoons. He's running it down. Several other members of the community come up, clap them on the back. Good job on the pumpkin. Uh, you, being taller than everybody else, will certainly stand out. As you shadow over the man, he looks up, and he has dumpling gruel pouring down his chin and asks, what can he do for two and spit some of his dumplings on your tunic? I know. And, I wipe it then, off. Then tries to wipe it off, but makes it a bigger mess. Uh, well, I'm going to wipe it off myself. Just brush it off, I guess. And yeah. I just congratulate him on the pumpkin and ask him, how do you grow a pumpkin that big, sir? Uh, that's what I shot, boy. <laughs> you know... Uh, it was always but you take you take, a, you take a pit and that's where you shot in and then 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 you go to the creek and you get some fish and you throw the fish in with the sheet and then you throw the pumpkin seeds in boy that is all my handiwork from last year. You hear that Dan? That's how you make big pumpkins. Twelve stone, twenty four stone pumpkin. What was it? Uh, twelve stone pumpkin. Twenty stone pumpkin. Super gas pumpkin. Yeah, you gotta get. You know how to make a pumpkin? You gotta get you some shot. Uh, you gotta you gotta have a lot of shot. No nope. lot of shot. And you throw it. Shut up. Uh, gopher stops you or stops for you and uh, shuffles his papers, asks what he can do for you. So um that aberration that claimed the life of a stable boy, is there a price on price on that on getting so, hands on that aberration? Oh, I'm sure there would be. Um Personally, son, do you think there's no aberration at all? No, I think he's just gone. I think uh, some guts were from some sick mount that uh, was in the stable. You can take that cushion. Probably was a sick mount. But I don't believe that there's any aberration. And you said it was uh, north of the village? Mm-hmm. 
okay. by the stables, which, you know, there's a sick mount up there. Uh, the entrails would certainly look like uh, the boy and, uh, you know. Yeah, do any rolls yet? Yeah, in, in reality, the sick mount happened several months ago. <laughs> the sick druid happened several months ago. Well, that, that aberration probably isn't to the north now. Probably went behind a building or something. So I'm going to walk away, go with Manfang. Fair enough. Manfang is uh, still talking to the pumpkin guy. You're not going to get anything from this guy. It's just pointless. I mean, I'm, I'm wanting to learn how to grow such big pumpkins. <laughs> well, you got the magic uh, method now. Yep. Maybe we could hire him. Copius would be so proud of us if we used the money to hire him to help make a pumpkin farm. <laughs> We can grow giant pumpkins <laughs> and then sell them. See, so here, <laughs> so what I'm catching up here, giant yeah. population it, is big. copious. Foolishly gave these two idiots money <laughs> to like well, buy a cow, and they're buying magic. We have an intern. Remember that one lady? We could use her. She'll yeah, she has now, that money. Now that you're here, Robert, you are in the tavern with these guys, so you have gotten to hear the da -da 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 daily news. Leaf is hiding in the stables. Copious ran after uh, Hugo Boss to give him a message, but couldn't catch him in time. Leaf and Copious are at the stables. You and the uh, dynamic duo here are inside the tavern <laughs> with the military, <laughs> who is trying to eat while Haggis was trying to talk to them. Oh, uh, I did hang out with that one military dude, didn't I? Uh, Chang. Yeah. Lieutenant Chang. Uh, yeah, he yeah. he, he accepts you at the table. Uh, but the uh, uh, Captain Selena, she would not. She's too busy in, engaged in her meal. Uh, so with you three in the tavern and uh, Leaf MIA, I'll stick in the tavern. Uh, Gopher Taze uh, is the name of the guy with paper. He is. A uh, husband to Lauren Tays, uh, the lady whose window you smashed out. So uh, inside, uh, it's it's not a lively gathering of people here. It's just a standard mealtime thing. There doesn't appear to be any entertainment aside from the daily news. Uh, but clearly, uh, the news guy somehow found out all this information uh, and. The biggest takeaway is explorers will be expected to uh, descend on this area en masse. Okay. So in, inside the tavern, what do you guys want to do? I want to talk to the lieutenant and find out more information about how many troops are coming in. We're just on routine patrol. Uh, when are you guys moving out? I'll probably move out in the morning. We're, we're just we're just making the rounds, keeping it safe, to? keeping it real, keeping it real. Where are you heading to next? Uh, we'll head over to Wrexham to the east. Okay. Possibly go up to Ick. Uh, after that, you know, just kind of make the big circle. Uh, it'll be up to the captain, but you know, now with the news of adventures descended on this area, it could be problematic for us, but yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, have you heard anything about dragons out towards the that west? That was the daily news, was it? A red dragon yeah, turned down the tavern. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, well maybe. Maybe. There, there is some scuttlebutt within the Roadhouse Guild that the dragon was not responsible for the fire damage, and it was actually a group of patrons. Really? There is a question mark, so there is an inquest forthcoming by the Roadhouse Guild. Well, you know that there was these two, like, bard troops, families, that started fighting in there. And the Amigo, the Amigo family singers have already been taken into custody. That was also part of the daily news. Ah, okay. Yeah, we've never seen What it. about the other family? Whatever happened to them? Did they set it? Maybe they, they were pretty mad. Von Trapp family? Yeah. So I will look into that. If you see the guild, let them know. I think that might be your uh, main go at. Yeah. I'll go ahead and keep that under advisement, citizen. Uh, meanwhile, at the stables, Leaf and Copious, you guys are hanging out. What are you doing? Oh, let Leaf say. I, Copious is trying to convince Leaf that we have a concern here about the 
the uh, pig lizard, and that we better do something about that beak well, monstrosity. Let's track it down. I think any we've got idea, to track it down. Any idea where it's at? I want to get a look at this thing. I, I, I now. I can show Leaf the tracks out the back of the stables, can I, that the creature left? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show the tracks to Leaf and see if Leaf ha is able to, to track those at all and show him the, the cloven hoofs of the pig lizard. As you guys exit the stables, uh, you can clearly follow the degenerative waste of the umbilical cord and other parts of the afterbirth. Uh, as you round the corner of the stable, the track is fairly consistent, along with the tracks of August Crabstain and his war duck. Uh, but give me a perception check as the sun begins to fade. 19. Copious, uh, you lead Leaf out and you are clearly explaining to him that the path taken by this creature leads around here and you believe that they have but Leaf taps you on the shoulder and points directly out. There are There is a two-column group of about 20 hobgoblins entering the region. Coming in the main road or coming from the wood line? Coming in the main road. Leaf, you notice that one of them has a white flag. Oh, I'm good. Okay, Copius is all you over this because he has. Copious? You see him? I see him. Copius is uh, going to go towards the hobgoblins, flying the flag. He's going to cast mage armor and summon his pack weapon, but uh, have it um, and casual as he walks up to him. But he'll walk up to the lead hobgoblin or parent lead hobgoblin and ask uh, what the nature of their business is in the town of Triorki. As you guys break through the tree line, uh, you are spotted by the two-column group of hobgoblins. Uh, they are also spotted by someone else, and a bell begins to ring, and screams can be heard off to your left as though a sentry is alerting the universe. Uh, as you go down the gentle incline, Leaf and Copious, you notice that the group... It uh, has only a few warriors in it. Uh, there are females and children and elderly in this group. Uh, one of the warriors is holding the white flag. Uh, he stops, does not go near his weapons. Uh, do you speak hobgoblin? I do not. I speak elvish, Numish, oh. thieves can't, and common. He attempts to speak with you, but it is clear that it is not aggressive in nature. Uh, Goblin count? You will understand a little bit. So yes, I, speak, I do speak Goblin. Well, he, go ahead. I was going to say, if I if if Copius can't understand him, and I run through a litany of, do you speak this? Do you speak this? Do you speak this? Then I'm going to suggest that uh, I'm going to motion for him to wait here, um, and I'm going to tell Leaf. I said, Robert has a cantrip or a spell to yeah, comprehend man. languages. We need Robert. All right, I'll go get Robert because I can get there a lot quicker than you can. With those and languages. Leaf, since the hot, the hobgoblin doesn't understand me, I'm going to mention to you, we have cheap labor right behind us here. We could... Yeah, this absolutely. absolutely. Is, women, children, and the elderly, they could all work at the roadhouse. I agree. Let me go get Robert. I'll, I'll turn around and hightail it. Like, It'd be great if they could understand you, but you couldn't understand them, so they heard you talking about free labor. I said cheap I'll labor, not free labor. The, I'll hightail it to the end to get Robert. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to explain to the people in the town to relax, that they're under a white flag. It's a peaceful group. It's a family. It's not warriors. Uh, as you enter, uh, essentially, the town square, you have a multitude of people gathering makeshift weapons uh, ready for battle. You're going to have to get them calmed down before you can make it into the tavern. Inside the tavern, Robert Manfang and Haggis, uh, young halfling male, bursts through the door. Hobgoblins! Hobgoblins are attacking the city! <laughs> 
All right, so I'm probably going to have to kill them. The military immediately jumps up, leaving their <laughs> half-full plates, grabbing their weapons, led out the door by Captain Selena and Lieutenant Chang, uh, and they immediately form up outside. I'm going to step in front of the captain and tell her what the situation is. Everything is calm! <laughs> Uh, give me a persuasion roll there, Lee. Good roll. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Eighteen. How do you know this? Um, I, I do understand Goblin and what little I've been able to discern. There's just a How many are there? There's just a hand. Where are they at? <laughs> just a couple of warriors. The rest of them are women and children. A group that way, C group that way, B group, follow me. Uh, they, they push past you and they whoop, branch off. Uh, C group goes up by the stables. They're going to go ahead and take an archery position in the woods. Uh, the other two are going to swoop around left uh, with, after the end. quarterback fade. I'm going but, in, in the end to get Robert. They're still eating, apparently. I'll tell him what's going on. So, so uh, we we can move, right? Head back and forth. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so, so my duck has like a I don't know mile radius. Is it doing anything? Freaking out at all? Where is your duck? Isn't it with you? Yeah, it should be because I picked it up before I left the stable. Yeah. Uh, no, I I heard the chef in the back going yeah. more orange sauce for duck la orange. <laughs> <laughs> Last, there there last was a discussion played, on horses. The last time we played, it was oh, guy, Halfway he, walks into a bar with a duck on his shirt. But it keeps disappearing. And we, didn't, ah, we never right. had a punchline to that. But Inside the tavern, the duck has no issues. Okay, so maybe these goblins are friendly. I go towards, I leave the tavern to see the goblins for myself. Uh, D20 for me, please. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Nine. You are most certain that these hobgoblins are going to be evil and they need to be dealt with. <laughs> really? Yeah, you've got this feeling. Danger, duck. Okay, are, 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 is anyone near the goblins? Like, really yeah. close to them? Yeah. Uh, Copius is standing there with them. Okay, uh, the I, I, Copius, get out of the way. They're going to kill you. You're going to have to shout because the military is between you and him. Okay, I shout. Uh, perception check, Copious. <laughs> see if you hear him. Uh, uh, 18. Uh, you can hear him uh, just as one of the small hobgoblin children come up and offer you something black. and It's a bomb! It's gunpowder! You're move! Run. <laughs> it's not like that, that yay thin. And the, the small child just offers it to you. There's gunpowder uh, in her dress. Run! This is this is not Saigon. <laughs> so, so uh, a hobgoblin child is what this height, or it's still taller than Copious, right? Yeah, it's about your height. And it comes up and it's handing me something. Does Copious recognize it as like it's trying to give me food, or is it holding like dried turd? Insight. Uh, Seventeen before I add a bonus. Uh, uh, it, it, kind, it kind of smells fruity. Uh, I'm going to hold out a hand for the child to put it in my hand and then sniff it. Uh, the child is a female. Uh, she smiles a toothy grin. Uh, as you take the item, it's somewhat sticky. Uh, it feels kind of warm. But again, a, an apple or a peach kind of aroma is coming off of it. Uh, and the little girl points to her, her mouth, and you can see there's a lot of black residual uh, items on there, possibly from said item. Yeah, Copious is going to go, thank, he's very, you know, he's putting on all the charm here. Copious to diplomat time here. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, definitely saying, oh, thank you, really fawning over the little girl's gift, and said, maybe later. <laughs> her brother... Pulls off and yeah, still later. 
Fair enough. Uh, the military comes up, armed to bear, weapons drawn. The warriors, uh, the hobgoblin warriors, instinctively reach for their own weapons, uh, and it looks like it's going to go south pretty quick. I'm going to break on through the other side. That's, is Robert? Do I see Robert coming? Oh yeah, he's lumbering that way. All right, I'm, I'm be- pushing my way through the military. <laughs> Hey, Robert, let me turn into a orca whale, and I will this. No, just turn into a regular blue whale. And crush turn them into all. like a hob whale. Maybe they'll understand that. All I have to do is start singing. I'm Trust sorry, me, I'm people will run. I wanted to get the opportunity to suggest the whale thing tonight, so I wanted to get one in. I'm really That's close right. to yelling, take the shot, because I, I, I don't know. They're getting a little too close to copious. Kill shot. Kill shot. Kill <laughs> shot. <laughs> Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm pushing my way through, trying to make my way to the front. Hold on, LT. Hold on. Let me see what's going on before you all start whacking into my own party. Whack and whack and whack. That's right. Wait, all all wait, I can wait. see is Jack Burton right now. I'm, I'm Jack Burton. Let me tell you something. When you're hauling down the I-9 and you got a load behind you and there's a horde of goblins, I'll go in front of you. What do you do? Well, you shit yourself and head to the other side. Please. Let me through. I got to talk. Uh, Copious, you see him pummel his way through the crowd and know in your heart this probably cannot get any worse until you hear the word orca come from Leaf's mouth <laughs> and Haggis is yelling kill shot. So you know from past experience this is going to end very well. Go ahead, Robert. Uh, you push your way through. Lieutenant Chang, uh, still with weapons drawn. The Hot Goblins have not drawn their weapons yet. They're just hanging on to them. They've stepped in front of the elderly and the old and the females. Right. I'm going to say, hey, let me speak here. Yeah, I'm also going to push through with Robert in reality. Sure. Back up to the front. I will as well. With this is where Dr. Fireball LT, comes let, in. Let, let me take the first shot at this, LT. You got my back. I'm gonna reach out and talk to the. Yeah. Who the hell are you? I am Mung. Mung. What, what now, you now you speak hobgoblin. I, I comprehend language. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, you, so fluently, you understand that he is Mung, a warrior of the hobgoblin clan. Okay. All right, well, what are you doing here? We have come to ask for assistance from our mortal enemies. Assistance for what? A creature an hour ago attacked us in our home. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. I'm going to turn around to the LT and say, no combat here, LT. They're looking for help. Uh, we do not help scum. That's all right. We're, 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 we're cheap whores. We help about anybody around here if they're willing to pay. Mostly Why should we help these scum? Mostly ourselves. We help ourselves. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Copious is going to talk to pull Robert aside and say, listen, Robert, Robert. And both Robert and Copious are extending look. We both know it's the pig lizard, right? She's going to go, see if you can negotiate for enforcers and guards for the roadhouse for at least a year at no cost if we deal with the issue. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. What he and maybe, said. And maybe some serving people, too. Oh, I, I, I I tell you what, uh, Gobliny, Hob Gobliny, uh, Mordecai, whatever your name was, Monk, the Hob Father, yeah, Monk, the hey, Hob Father, the Hob Father, the Hob Father. Tell you what, we could take care of your problem. We look for this in exchange. We need some service. We need some help. Are your people willing to help? Do a little family labor work. Uh, these people are old and young. They cannot work very hard, despite the fact that we as hobgoblins are physically superior to the runts. Of course, of course. And, of and course. the word runt catches the attention of the military, and they seem to bristle in anger. Uh, apparently, this kind of slur is well known. Oh, uh, I'm going to turn around to him and say, uh, He's talking to about the gnome. He's talking about the gnome. So, like any service. Hey. 
Well, we, that, I, that I, I, said, suppo- I suppose. Well, I, I, I could use like a butt groom or something, you know. What? You know, like a groom. The hell's a butt groom? You know, they wipe, you, you know, your butt. Do you, do, do you spell, do you speak Hobgoblin? Oh, no. Madeline. <laughs> All right, that's too bad, because, boy, what was going to happen next is going to be problematic. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to say, hi, have you got to look at the nails on the ends of those fingers? Hey, right? um, <laughs> please, pull your microphone down to your face. You sound like you're 100 feet away from your microphone. It, it looks like uh, a New Jersey housewife. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, do we have a deal? We're talking simple work. We're just talking, like, helping clean up. Maybe some warriors do a little... Yeah. Security work, a little bouncer work. Yep, in a tavern. If you tavern. can catch it and kill it, we will no, help. No. Let's Gun. not be let's one not year. Be, no, 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 no. And you're going to translate that, uh, Robert? What? What they're saying back? Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to tell you. So tell them now. There's no guarantee about killing. We will take care of the problem so it's not a problem for them anymore. Blah, 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 blah. What he said. This aberration must be killed. It took down three of our finest warriors. We will take care of this aberration. We have a special house of our God that we can take to to sacrifice for this aberration. We will take care of it. It will bother you no more. Its death will be released and sacrificed to our own God. And our Praise own God. Allah. D12 against me. D12. Uh, uh, eight, 10, 12. I see. Come on, big numbers. Eight. 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 <clears throat> we will agree to your terms for one year. If and only if. You managed to deal with this appropriately. And the uh, runs, which is translated into pendejos, uh, <laughs> don't, don't interfere. <laughs> uh, again, the military bristles at the end. Turn around. Man, they really don't like these gnomes, guys. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say, all right, lead us. Lead on. How far is it to where you're from? I, from? We will not take our elderly, our women, and our youth back out there. They they must have uh, a place to stay here. Jason, How far away is the our, place? Have we has has our group started moving out yet? Uh, part of your group has moved out. And what about that one lady who's supposed to get the uh, canvas tents and stuff like that? The tents uh, with. Hugo Boss and four employees have already left, headed north. Uh, the lady slash manager has not left with the bulk uh, of what uh, seventeen other employees. That's who we need to communicate with and let her know what's going on. Do you explain the agreement as such in common tongue? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah quietly. To my party. No. <laughs> the lieutenant is listening. There is no way. I say we put these guys to the sword and be done with it. Lieutenant, I don't think that's a good idea. And she looks over at the warrior and does this, <laughs> causing him to bristle and the word pendejo to escape his mouth again. The warrior looks at you and says, they stay, no deal. Well, how about we leave this? Wait, We're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. And I, like I said, so the, what, the lieutenant sneak over and listen in on my conversation? She is paying attention. Hey, I, I was meaning that to be a private conversation between just a small group. She'll pay right. attention. Yeah, Robert. Yeah. So yes. the question is, translate to the hobgoblin. Listen, We're going to take the elderly and the females and the children and we're going to take them with the rest of our employees, right? <clears throat> We've sent some employees out to our, our work site. They will be safe there with the other employees. We'll have them go out to that site. The, the warriors can go with them. We'll send a couple of additional employees. 
we'll get Heineken to 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 identify some folks and, and smooth feathers to get them out of town and get them out to the roadhouse. They won't be in the town. They'll be at the roadhouse. Okay. Explaining. It begins to drizzle. <laughs> we need of to course. hurry because we're going to lose the trail. So this is explained to the hobgoblin. They can't I already explained here. it. Well, they can't say here. We need to get them out. Yes. That way. Explained. And we'll get exactly what you said. I'm saying to the hobgoblin. Yeah, and we need to get on the trail of the creature before we lose. Before Tell we, lose the we got this taken care of. They're leaving. Well, till Frank says they're leaving. Uh, the lieutenant shakes her head, uh, looks over to the right in the tree line. Uh, so the bowmen that were behind the stables maybe lowered their weapons. Maybe. Uh, keeping in mind, watch out. We're going to drop a blue whale on her ass. Yeah. Keeping in mind the halflings and the hobgoblins do not get along. At all. Uh, both sides feel that the other needs to be uh, removed from the face of the planet. Got it. I'm a halfling, though. I've been yeah, nothing but kind to them. Everybody roll a straight up D20. You just said, didn't you say kill shot? Yes. Yeah, I played uh, the fifth. I've been, <laughs> I've been I, nothing but kind. Kill shot. Kill shot. I rolled a nine. Frankie? Well, I rolled. A, shit, does a die 12. I rolled, I rolled a 13. 15. Well, wait, higher, are we rolling higher than 15? Yeah. Anybody? I had a 15. Copious, uh, you notice that uh, a portly uh, individual whom you talked to earlier is busy scribbling down the notations of said interaction. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, Gopher? Taze? It is. It is go for Taze. I, I Copius is going to sidle over to go for uh, uh, go for Taze and give him an exclusive and change the nature of the conversation a little bit about this wonderful, <coughs> the extraordinary diplom diplomacy and peacemaking skills of this party that Copius is part of. The local business owners trying to really bridge. The divide between our, our the, the species and the area and how this is an opportune time for both out at the neutral ground of the, the, the roadhouse and what the true villain of the piece being of course the aberration that, that uh, has wandered into the area that our group of heroes are going to go track down right now. I wonder if what if we convince them that we'll oh wait like do you need to think before you speak? <laughs> I might have to, you know. <laughs> I, would nice. I, yell something. I, I, I just feel Frank's hand reaching to a 20-sided dice as you speak for some reason. Copious, uh, do your very important persuasion role, and I will tell you what tomorrow's headline is. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Because I usually roll really low when that happens. Uh, 15. Uh, adventuring party... Helps town out by siding with enemy. Oh, God. Come on, gopher. No. That's horrible. <laughs> it God, that been, it, trust me, it could have been way worse. That we released it. <laughs> it does have saved town. So I'm, I'm pretty close to these goblins right now, the ones that are leading us, right? Yeah. I'll take you scream kill shot, too. <laughs> any well they they don't know what I said they, they don't speak they know that you scream that they don't speak unless it's a natural 20 they don't speak my language it is not a natural 20 it's see a but like my duck I'm a little closer to these defouling creatures is my duck doing anything uh your duck uh is just You're pretty sure these creatures need to be uh, scorched from the planet. Really? <laughs> I'm that, like, racist? <laughs> okay. okay. I know you are now. Or at least <laughs> duck is. <laughs> Danger duck. Maybe Darn. if I, like, get up kind of close to one of them and put my duck, I don't know, a little close to their them, you know? One of the children reaches out to pet your duck. <laughs> As a duck, attack the child. It does? 
Yep, roll d twenty. Okay. Is this? Well, I, I'm can they kill the child? Here. <laughs> Natural twenty. Awesome! Uh, you have <laughs> snapped the finger off of a hobgoblin child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the hobgoblins surround the small child who is screaming in pain. Uh, the duck has it like it's uh, smoking a stogie in its bill. Uh, the uh, tide has turned again. A blade does come out from one of the hobgoblin warriors. Uh, blades are at the ready, uh, and Captain, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, Captain Selena starts screaming for calm. Uh, it is you and your duck the hobgoblin warrior. He begins to scream incessantly at you. Robert uh, and Leaf, you can determine that the hobgoblin warrior wants to know why he has defaced his child in a fit of anger when they come only in friendship. And call Hagas a pendejo. Does my, um, does my duck, can my duck heal people? I don't know. You want to put it up against the kid again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have good experience with children in this game. I'm going to inform him, it's like, would you put your hand in a tiger's mouth? What happens if you put your hand in a uh, liger, a liger's throat? It yeah. blows your hand off. Why would it's not to you that it's a goddamn duck. <laughs> Why would you put your fingers in a duck's mouth? It's a wild duck. What it is a expect? child. It's, it's a wild a duck. <laughs> I know. Is it the same one that gave copious licorice? It is not. It's her brother. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I have a healing potion. One of three. I could. Sure, uh, right, well, no. yeah. Don't turn another one into mist. <laughs> uh, the warrior is, is got to get it up like this. Uh, I, I'm going to go over and heal the child. <laughs> He's up a spell on this. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to look at uh, crap stain and see. You better move that duck away before battle starts or I stomp the duck. A twang is heard from the tree line and an arrow sails over everybody's head. Uh, the hobgoblins crouch. The halflings crouch. Uh, you go ahead and heal the child. Uh, but of course, <laughs> so, you know. It's hey, not gonna I, I can heal. I can't mend. Well, I can yeah. mend it. <laughs> <laughs> is that wild magic? Thing. Is it wild magic? Oh, it is magic. Yep. Is it oh, wild magic? Right. The same guy again. You I could can't. kill her. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> fireball! Fire! Fireball! The crowd. <laughs> I'm going to turn around as I'm handling the child and look over at the lieutenant. And say, you better calm your damn twangers out there. There's no need for this. I got this under control, Lieutenant. Are you trying to cause mass murder and destruction to this little village? Is that your point? I'm sorry. Are you saying that like you have some kind of avenue? <laughs> <laughs> We're here in peace. Is, uh, the child is healed, of course. The child is maimed for life. Uh, we'll never... Be able to accurately hold a sword, you've probably created uh, a horrible life for young Tomei. Well, Tomei now can work as a steward in the uh, wonderful... <laughs> yeah, he's better than a bouncer. He, he can carry four bottles. Not he can carry five. four <laughs> bottles, or better yet, he can carry a bucket. <laughs> of That's true. You know what's really sad is he was a brilliant pianist before this. That's true. Or a clarinetist, <laughs> or a flautist. <laughs> now it's just. <laughs> Leaf, you, Leaf you're, you're muted, Leaf. Nobody heard a word of that. It's probably the best conversation we've had. You're still probably here. was a good idea. <laughs> I said I'm sure that he can use the other hand and pee just fine there. <laughs> hey, Jake, is this how Snorri Three Fingers got started? Because wasn't he a hobgoblin? Yeah. No, he's a well, dwarf. Oh, he's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. Mm. Well, he's Three Fingers because he couldn't. Pick a lock or disarm a trap to save his life. Literally. <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> no, we need, uh, to, we need to move these. We got to separate this now before this breaks out. And I have to kill the army and the hobgoblins. The uh, army is ordered back by Captain Selena, and she wants to know. Uh, she will ask. Uh, there's five of you. Eight. Uh, she asks Fagus Crabstain, uh, "What are you going to do with these pitiful creatures?" What pitiful creatures? The hobgoblins. <laughs> oh, like what? What do you mean by like? What do you do? Like, where do they go? Where, what are you going to do with these guys? What's well, our plan? They're kind of like ours for life. I mean, we said one year, but what's a year to a hobgoblin? <laughs> 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 Don't worry, we'll take them in. We'll feed them, give them small... It's a lot like small the Industrial thing. Revolution and uh, <laughs> American culture, boys and girls. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll pay them a pittance and they'll work because they're awesome. So it's the, the monopoly scheme. So you are going to take them far, far away from here? Don't worry. They won't, you'll never see them again. You might even just think they're dead. I'd just write up a death certificate right now. Uh, meanwhile, your duck is still... Oh, so this is my duck? It's pretty... Yeah, your duck uh, snapped the kid's finger off. It, it knows right from wrong. Am I right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, now that the two groups are separated, what would you guys like to do? There's still a lot of bad blood here, literally I'm, and figuratively. I, wanna, I asked before. I want to. I asked before, but I want to ask them what direction they came from, where this aberration attacked them. North. All right. Well, I'm heading north. Uh, someone's going to escort them back to the camp. Well, we so got to. They need to be. We got to hook them up with our rally group and so that way they can get escorted out of town and to the camp except for the one to lead us to their where the attack was we just it'll be the warrior yeah hopefully uh, not the one that his kid got his finger cut off by that duck well no that might be the best one he's got an attitude now so that way if we have to kill him at least he's not around everybody else that's true <laughs> we'll hire somebody that just came. Thank you for leading us. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's payday. Yeah. Got a job opening. <laughs> now hiring. <laughs> I watch Goodfellas. I'm good to go today. Okay. Okay, Pesci. Uh, <laughs> you think I'm funny? Do I amuse you? <laughs> Do I amuse you? Uh, so, you guys head down the path. Uh, Copious, you will recognize this as the Exact same direction as Hugo Boss took uh, not a half hour ago. Okay. Great. Our canvas tents are going to be destroyed. Shredded. Well, bloodstained. Do you know the smell of hobgoblins? I mean, have you? <laughs> Give them a shower. We'll have you do it. Probably smells like a teenage boy's sock, it would be my guess. I figured he smells just about as good as crap stain does. When's the last time he had a shower? Never. <laughs> when was the last time we were in the water? Uh, All of his hair, uh, one really long dress. When's the last time you were drowning? When was it? Uh, that was like when I hit the rock and yeah. I got my horrible scar. Um, last, last time we were near water was when we were at the the one place. Oh, on our way up to light the, reach. Yeah. Light, yeah, light, reach. light reach. On our way up to the gods. <laughs> chamber. I don't think I got in the water. I never thought I. No, I did. Yeah. You guys were all underwater stealing from the god. Yeah. So that you? was the last time. That was like three. We months gave ago. him everything back, so it's not really stealing. Back on track. Yeah. Uh, so, so you guys head off. Uh, there is a split in the road, uh, even in the rain that is coming down uh, slightly more. Uh, it's still not a downpour or anything. You can see the ruts left by Hugo Boss's wagon. Uh, as it gets darker, uh, you cannot see him, uh, but the trail diverges. Okay. Which way is the hobgoblin leading? He wants to go right. And do Hugo Boss's trails go to the left or to the right? To the left. Okay. We're following the hobgoblin. We're trying to pick yep. up the trail of the, the aberration. The hobgoblin warrior uh, hugs the four-fingered child uh, and his wife, uh, saying goodbye to his kids. Uh, 
uh, Robert, if you still have Comprehend Languages up, you can tell him that Daddy's going to save the day. It'll be fine. I will catch up to you. I'm, I'm going to take the child's finger, tie a little rope around it, make, say, a, ne make a necklace, offer it to the dad. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you tie our finger around it to remember to come back to it. Maybe I'll toss her a gold, co uh, a wooden coin. She can use he, it. He snaps it out of your hand and stuffs it into a pocket. I was gonna uh, say, are you sure you got it away from the duck? Because it didn't seem like the duck was going to give it up. I didn't hear any dice rolling on that one. I think we probably should have. Okay, right. hit the duck. Dexterity roll on the duck? Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, dexterity roll against the duck uh, to snap it out of its bill. Oh, plus dexterity. I mean, this duck is pretty angry. Duck 17. Are, duck Wild ducks are usually very aggressive. Nine, you were able to snap it out of its bill. Damn. Duck. Crank, 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 crank. <laughs> uh, you guys head into a thick forestry area. Uh, you notice no tracks. Uh, the hobgoblins are extremely cautious about this. Uh, the hobgoblin turns to Robert. Robert, how long does that spell last? I'm sure, sure, like one hour. Yeah, I don't want to have to keep casting this damn <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Comprehend language. So <coughs> one hour. Let's see how much of that hour was used dicking around. You tell me, sir. Sixty percent of the hour. Uh, so you got about another twenty-ish minutes uh, to go. He explains that uh, you are entering the domain of the hobgoblins. Uh, keep an eye out. Uh, this thing was at least five feet tall uh, with blood dripping from a set of fangs, as he was told by the others. Uh, about 10 minutes in, you still have 10 minutes on your comprehend languages. You come to the encampment of the hobgoblins. The crude huts uh, are reminiscent of Robin Hood. They are up in the trees. Uh, clearly, any halfling patrol would likely not find this area. He greets you with suspicion and points out that he is trusting you to not give away this encampment because they plan on returning after a year of servitude. Uh, as you enter, carnage is present. Uh, the buildings are intact up above, but down below on the floor, there are multiple body parts, fingers, toes, feet, arms, uh, and one misshapen head from a hobgoblin. Uh, there is a lot of blood on the leaves. The canopy, the tree canopy prevents a lot of rain from reaching the ground. So it's just covered in uh, debris, old leaves and things of that nature. Uh, everybody perception or everybody investigation check, please. Um, 14. I got you. Look. My investigation is 17. 13. Okay, look, I got you right here, buddy. Investigation. Three. <laughs> Your investigation is six, man. Thing. Did I hear a seventeen and a sixteen? A seventeen. Yep. Se seventeen and seventeen and sixteen. You notice the structures and the trees are crude, to say the least. You also notice that there's a hole in the floor of each one. Down below on the forest floor uh, are piles of defecant. Uh, it is their poop shoot that you're looking at. Uh, there are uh, spikes hammered into the trees in lieu of ropes and stairs. The hobgoblin children at a very young age learn how to climb these. Uh, of course, uh, one of them might have issues doing that now. Uh, other than that, uh, along with the carnage, uh, you see some sparse tracks, uh, some destruction in the debris, uh, but you do not find the creature. Well, I'm going to ask him then, uh, does he know which direction <clears throat> he ran off after this violent act? Hey, hey Robert, uh, because we keep circling back around to this idea of the three-fingered uh, child, tell the hobgoblin leader that Copius will take him directly into his service, but he has to be called Bilbo from now on. Bill of all the vacuums. How long did how long did it take you to think that one up? Almost it's, immediately. <laughs> no, not Bilbo. Frodo. Frodo. 
Frodo. Frodo. Into the Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, he cut his finger Colin. off. No, Colin bit his finger oh, off. Oh, he bit his finger off. Just like the duck. That's your duck's new name. Gollum. Gollum. That's good. That's tell, good. Tell, tell, the, tell the chieftain. Okay, chieftain. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, I'm going to oh. look back at Copious and go, ha <laughs> I would tell Robert again, ask him if he knows which direction it went after the attack. He no. said no. All right, I'm going to start working my way around looking for tracks leading out of the camp. Is that Are you guys it? just branching out on your own? No, we're going to stay Earth fairly two. close together. Yeah. Are, are there any forest creatures in the area? Small critters? Oh, no, not here. <laughs> they've, been, they've been bloody. <laughs> They're now defecant. <laughs> All right. Well, now I don't think Frodo here and Crapstain should be in one group together. They they need to go with Lee. Why not? Or Copious, and I'll walk around with the goblin since I can talk to him. Wait, wait. I, I've, I've we'll seen this admiration before. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So um, we investigated the, the place for it, right? We're going to. That, that's what we're spreading out to do. No, no. That, that's what you're doing right now. Well, do I see any trails? Any going off? Anywhere? Well, that's what you're looking for now. Okay, I'm looking for that. <laughs> he was well, not paying attention at all. Maybe, maybe go to the. I'm going to climb to the tree canopy. Uh, check dirty. Check. <laughs> yeah. So let him slip on some poo and fall back down. And oh yeah, try me with my dexterity. <laughs> all right, <laughs> fine. Yeah. 19. Yeah, you zip right up the spikes in the tree. Uh, you get to a top section. This particular hut has a little porch. It's kind of nice. Uh, smells to high heaven, as do hobgoblins normally. You look in, uh, standard abode of a hobgoblin. Uh, there's half a chicken in there uh, and some eggs, uh, some kind of meat that has gathered flies. Uh, other than that, uh, nothing of value or wealth. Uh, as you look off the porch, you notice, uh, well, I don't know if you notice it. Give me a perception at disadvantage. Um, nine. Uh, no, uh, you notice that the rain has increased. It's still not a torrent. It's just a light summer shower. Uh, and the nine is not going to be good enough for audio, so you do not notice anything unusual. <clears throat> I kind of just want to poke my sword at like any, any like weird, maybe stacks of anything. I want to say like a tent, parts, just to like stab them. move the it aside, but anything like treasure. that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> D12 against me, Haggis. <clears throat> Six. Maybe. Four. Uh, you hear some small scurrying behind the pile of stuff that you're poking at. Hmm. Okay. Like, but it, 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 is there any way for it to, what, is it on the edge of something? Is it kind of underneath a bed? Okay. So I'm, um, is anyone down below? Oh, yeah. I, I I have something up here. I heard some scurrying. I, I tell that to the. Friend. It's up here, guys. I heard scurrying. It could be a chicken. It could be a rat. This, this thing could be a rat. Even we don't know. Why don't you check it out? Everybody, roll a d twelve. I'm just giving you guys what I have seen. I'm just <laughs> just, just eleven. <laughs> You're laughing. That's a good sign. Everybody who beat a three hears Haggis yell. Clearly, Robert and the warrior have not heard this. Oh, that's not a good... <laughs> okay. okay. Um, uh, maybe um, take if your, you guys get on the other heard, side of the street. Heard something <laughs> up here. Look at right down the poop chute. Look and see what it is. Okay, I'll um, I'll, um, I'll pull up my trousers and I'll like you know, and then I'll. 
<laughs> you get what I mean? And it's, you're laughing like it's something bad. Like, I, I'm going to walk over there, you know? You're doing a high cup and big boy panty. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. Okay, you 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 get what I mean. I'm like the cool kids. Penis. You you hike up your trousers. You lean down. You start to look underneath the bed, and you see a pair of beady eyes. A shadowy figure leaps from uh, underneath the edge. Uh, it looks like it has one ear, and you hear a snarl. Oh, say it bites his finger off. Initiative, <laughs> Hobbit. Okay, 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 okay. Do I? Uh, Okay. okay. Two. Okay. Joe Pesci down there. Okay. You and I react at the same point in time. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Well, mm, mm. do I have any? <laughs> this is an awful long decision. It uh, is. A, it's a, important. I like to think that he's already gnawing on your corpse when you're still thinking about this. Okay. Okay. Um, you yeah. go first. Okay, the black shadowy figure uh, jumps out and uh, 16 plus 1, 17. Does 17 hit you? It's my armor class. Does that hit or not? You are raked across the face by a set of claws. Uh, it hurts a, a lot. It causes one hit point of damage. Uh, okay. All right. At the same moment in time, you react how? Some guess. Some kid's kitty cat, and he's going to kill the damn thing. Yeah, but now he's permanently scarred his Christmas going down. <laughs> yes, as we speak, the Christmas lorry. Join me. Join me, the ugly. Now the question, who's the ugliest? Hold on. I bet it's still going to be me, probably. Maybe but I get another scar. I'm gonna have an X on my face. <laughs> Don't be given the DM ideas. Or we'll all end up with a scarred face. <laughs> I, I already know what it is. It's just hilarious that you came up with that idea. Well, my duck is up here with me, right? Throw the right, duck. Your, your, your duck is not making any aggressive things. It doesn't seem to give two shits about it. Did you carry the duck up? I didn't hear you say that. I on your shoulder. Well, it's kind <laughs> of like a. It, it just it's on me. Parrot duck. It's I a can't. parrot duck. It just sits on his shoulder. It's part I'm, of me. Well, well, I'm, fight I, well then, sh shouldn't you have rolled a die at six to see whether it hit him or the? I'm duck? already up here, Leaf. It's no point. He's the one looking down. Just making him. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's try and maim this thing. Okay, I'm gonna say I I I have the thing. It's here. It's up here with me. I yell that. The thing well, that doing no anything. That would be 12. The, the creature. Oh, it's here. Look at it go. And it's oh, gone. Crap. 14. The yeah. thing that looks like leaf, but it, we don't have any biological proof because that's not invented yet. What? The hell are you talking about? Margie. A leaf thing that may or may not be the father. <laughs> I, I guess what are you doing? I rolled a twelve shadow. I rolled so, uh, a twelve. I uh, know I can hear him. The only important ones are Robert and the Warlord. The Warlord has heard it. Okay, oh, um, I didn't hear shit. I rolled five. Oh, that's that's still above the three, so you're good. You hear yelling. Can I cast? Does this thing look weak? And, and, and as Hoggins takes forty minutes to try and determine what he's going to do with the black shadow. Uh, the warlord leans over to you, Robert, and says, Why is he in my house? <laughs> Why is he think about something? I guess, what are you going to do? I want to use, like... Something has emerged, can, a black shadow, and slashed you across the face. Can, I, I don't want to do this because I, I don't want to kill it, but because I, I think we're not trying to, the goal is the, to kill it. The back end of your but what if I do charm on it? What, what would that do? Are you trying calm to it down? Yes. Sure. You can cast charm. That's charm person, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, mm, I wonder where it is. You got something Somewhere. in your house there, Warlord, that could be attacking Um, something? 18. And then that's I, probably plus I have my daughter's cat. <laughs> Haggis! Uh, it's a freaking so, cat! <laughs> so you cast charm person on this black shadow. It's oh, a, you just said black shadow. You didn't say it. It, it, it passes. Hold on. 
yeah, it passes because it's not a person. Uh, you hear a meow, uh, and the cat leaps into the poop chute, uh, lands awkwardly, uh, but then runs across the open plaza area to the warlord. Uh, that, Robert, you can see that it is a black cat with one ear and long fangs and a little bit of blood dripping <laughs> up its uh, claws. <laughs> Now look at the right. warlord. Is it trained to hate halflings? <laughs> the warlord says, uh, this is not the creature. <laughs> it's uh, a creature, all right. I, uh, so we haven't seen any tracks. We made a circuit circuit around this in camp, no tracks. I'm going right. to turn it. I don't know if they have them here, if possible. Turn into a bloodhound and try to pick up a trail. Sure, you can do that. You can do that with a wolf, too. Or a whale. I don't know which one. <laughs> uh, bloodhound. Oh, wow. So he's going to use his sonar as a whale. <laughs> his nostrils are still turning into a wolf and see if I can pick up the trail. D12 against me there, uh, Leaf. He's a whale. But I'm saying, roll for the 10. 10, re roll. 11. 11, re roll. Damn. 9. 12. <laughs> you do not get fleas. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah. dang. 10, 11, and 9 were my rolls. Uh, uh, 10, 11, and 12. Nice. Uh, you snuff around. Uh, the rain, uh, again, does not reach the ground here. Uh, but it appears as though uh, northwest is a trail that confuses you. I'm going to get, when I get to that and pick up that trail, then I'm going to howl or bark to get attention, get their attention. The bark, cat freaks bark. out. <laughs> I found the creature barking. Kill it. I guess uh, you just have, you know, standard cat scratch. Well, roll roll hey, straight up D20. Make sure you don't get cat scratch fever. Hey, I've seen Captain Marvel. That's going to lie. He's going to need to wear an eye patch. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Except for the so, eye patch. Um, is, there any <laughs> more this, is there any more to this tree canopy? Oh, yeah. And that wasn't really a cat that scratched Furry, Fury's face. It's like some kind of mutated evil creature. From How do we know that's not the same thing here? We don't. Uh, I guess D12 against me. Six. Where is my... Six. Reroll. Four. Ten. Uh, the duck flies down the poop sheet. That's fine. But, um, mm. you know, I, I kind of got fooled by a cat. I don't know how I... Is there like a lantern or maybe a candle anywhere? Just what are you gonna I'll, I'll, I'll give you a candle. Okay. I, <laughs> not my fault if I accidentally tip it up. The cat tipped over a candle, guys. Just... You got to light it first. Okay, I'll light the candle. What if I see? That's how these creatures are coming in. Uh, you look around. Uh, there's some horns, some kills, uh, kind of trophies, things of that nature. A jackalope skull. Yeah, nothing unusual. Uh, you look around yeah. the rest, uh, and you can now hear the water uh, pelting a little bit more on the tree canopy above. Uh, so the rain is intensifying. Uh, guys, the rain's intensifying. Give me an investigation check at disadvantage again, please. 13. Over the cusp of the tree line, uh, far off in the distance, you see a very tiny faint light. In the in the distance, towards the halfling village, because that would be south. Because no, uh, towards where the remains of the uh, roadhouse was. Oh. I mean, it, it, it's only about a half mile out. But if that uh, okay, that's just the roadhouse, so it's probably. No, it's too, uh, it's too close to be the Roadhouse. Roadhouse is almost okay. a full day away. Uh, it probably a camp of some kind. Okay, um, I yell down. Um, there's some light in the distance over that way towards the so northwest, right? So I see light northwest pretty close, really close.
Uh, do we hear this down below? He says he's calling it out, but do all of us hear it, considering we're sort of spread out? You, uh, all of you, except for the warlord and Robert, uh, heard the initial cries. So my assumption is you would filter over to that region. Okay. Uh, the poop shoot will echo out the information. So I'm going to ask Robert to ask Ma'ung um, if he's aware of a, an encampment in the direction Haggis indicated. He is not. And now is that in the direction that I was headed? It is in the, the direction scent. that Hugo Boss was headed to, as well as your scent. Okay. All right. So I'm going to suggest to Leaf, if he's relayed that information, that we need to head that way just in case the creature gets Le in that direction. And, oh, and that's true. Leaf is a wolf, and he's going to nod his wolfish head in agreement. Maybe a wink, you know. So you guys are all leaving the encampment and heading out. To yeah, the lights. Here. Yeah, if, if none of us picked up a trail. I did. Well, but none of we didn't pick up anything contrary to what you've picked up. So we don't have no. anything different than you. So at this point, that Haga says there's a light over there. You are mm. got a sense going over there. I think we just need to follow that direction. And and assume that Robert and Manfang are also going in that direction. See how they disappeared. Yes, I, I, I am going to and Fang to the daughter of the captain at this point. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and arrange that marriage now. That sounds good to me. Yeah. And I think uh, uh, as a as a as a nice gift, we'll just give him buttercup for a wedding gift. I think I will talk. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start working the, the uh, scent run on ahead. You smell blood as you exit the tree line. Sure, sure. Mazel tov, Fred. Hey, glad we're glad you're back. Your wedding just uh, almost over. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, you have to go through a bris before you. Congratulations! Come so, what's going on? And the moral has Parkinson's early, early <laughs> on. <laughs> Your bachelor party was that clown group, remember? <laughs> 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 yeah. Somebody's big toe decided to push the freaking reset button on my freaking power. Nice. No uh, way. Nothing happens. Uh, well, what happened? We, we decided we're, uh, uh, Haggis saw a light off in the distance in the same direction the scent <coughs> that I'm on is in, and we're heading up that way. I'm running on ahead as a wolf, mm -hmm. and you're coming with us. And uh, Copius made a deal with the uh, warlord. Uh, Mary Man thing off to his daughter when she comes of age. Yeah. So congratulations. Mazel tov, Man Fang. Great. Pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty, pretty equal. Pretty but good. Unfortunately, you do have to go through a bris to join the tribe. And uh, the DM has already ruled that the Moyle has Parkinson's disease. No, oh, no. Don't let your first time be your last time. It, just a little off the top, please. Fong. And I have no more balls. Gonna match. <laughs> so, uh, as, as you guys break out of the woods, uh, as Leaf the wolf uh, brings you out, there is a fresh kill carcass of what appears to be a boar. Uh, the water is intensifying as the precipitation increases from the storm, uh, but this thing looks like it's been killed within the hour. We should move kind of quick. Has it been? Does it look like mutilated, killed, or just killed and move on? Mutilated, definitely aliens. Something definitely was pissed off. But it didn't. It doesn't look like it's been eaten. It just looks like it was slaughtered. Uh -uh. The innards are gone. Hmm. Been it's gutted. Gutted. Yeah. It's got a sweet tooth. All right, I'm gonna head on it's ahead. I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit because of the rain. Uh, about a half hour into it, uh, you can see the light off into the distance uh, because now you're at ground level as opposed to Haggis at a higher elevation in the treehouse. Uh, and you can see the light ahead of you. The rain is now just sheets of water. You have definitely lost the scent. Uh, and then you lose visual on the light. The light is gone. Mm -hmm. And of course, there is cloud cover, so there's no moonlight to guide you. 
you can only hope that you have a good oh. bearing. We have that. Well, thing. I'm, have I'm that still following spider. the scent, though, correct? <clears throat> scent has been washed away from the storm. You know, a good bloodhound can still smell that shit in the rain. <laughs> yeah, a good one. <laughs> You're an old bloodhound. What do you mean a good one? Hey! <clears throat> It's a different kind of hound that I've been called. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, All right. I'm going to head, keep heading in that direction and keep my senses as much as possible aware. Give me a survival well, check. Yes, I will be happy to do that. I will. You hold my quiet. That is a 22. Uh, yeah. You uh, careen dead on into a pair of wagons. Uh, one being the esteemed Hugo Boss, the other being your foreman slash managerial uh, component. They have taken some of the tarps and bolts of cloth from Hugo to form a line over both wagons, creating uh, a tent, uh, essentially, where hobgoblins and humans are discernibly separated. <laughs> As it should be. What are they okay. doing out in the middle? But no of the sign woods? of the uh, whatever it is I was chasing. Correct. Takes a full day uh, to get to the old remains uh, of the uh, roadhouse, and it's currently the middle of the night. So you guys have dicked around for a couple hours. I will, I will revert back to my shape. Da 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 da. Hey Chuck, uh, you are okay. now a uh, human. Uh, they did post guards uh, in F at best. Uh, they should have just hired Man Fang to do it. Uh, but they recognize everybody else, and then they recognize you after you transform yourself. Uh, they barely have any light at all, uh, but there is a hobgoblin child uh, with them who has dark vision. How many fingers does she have? Three. It's a he and it's him. I also have that spider charm <laughs> so I can see in the dark. You guys, clear everybody who has the spider amulet can clearly see this group. Uh, you recognize both wagons, so you know that you have reached uh, the stopping point for everybody. Uh, once in there, they will report no noise, no attacks. Uh, if you mention the corpse, uh, they will become exceptionally scared. Okay, well, let's um, let's not mention the corpse. Nope. But let's just do a better job of setting up a guard perimeter for the. You'll all be fine. Night. Okay, who wants? Uh, you got about half the night to go. So uh, let me take the first watch? shift, Robert. Uh, I'll take the second. Uh, I can take the second. Robert, get me a a, a hobgoblin to guard on the other side. I'll take one side and have them guard on the other side. <laughs> one of the warriors. Time has elapsed. They do not understand you. You will have to uh, recast. All right, I'm casting. Hold on. Wait, don't recast. Just, yeah, I'm going to cast. It's the end of the day. Oh, wait, you're going to get your phone. Yeah. Oh, is this your third cast because you had to heal that child? Yep. Because of your stupid duck. Well, actually, that duck, that is, duck is going to come in useful. Well, the duck isn't stupid. Um, what you can do is there a two. where the force shut up. up. Rain. Hell's getting ready to rain down. Area <laughs> of fire. Well, if you force feed the duck grain, if you force feed the duck grain, the liver will turn nice and Rain-tuck. yellow, and you eat it, and it gives it a nice Rain-tuck. buttery. Buy it. Twenty-four. Oh, this is my cooking device. I don't. Oh, <laughs> he laughed too hard for it to be that. Uh, uh, all creatures within a 10 foot radius must succeed a strength saving throw DC 15 or be pushed 15 feet away, including the tarp covering everybody. Do you need help? Who, wa- who wants to roll for the tarp? No strength bonus on that. He just didn't even speak up. He just went, and just pushed them all away. Uh, Nicholas said, screw this. I'm quitting. (laughs) You didn't even speak Goblin. You just chanted and like dragging it from Skyrim. Just went. Uh, Copia, uh, you know what? Everybody in the party, 15, DC 15 on the strength. Uh, 
Uh, no, not you. Everybody, uh, the tarp covering everybody else is shit in the wind. By 20, buddy. Uh, Eight, as is copious. Who <laughs> was hanging on to the tarp at the time. It's like a scene from The Wizard of the Oz, right? Yeah. There. I was I was tracking. <laughs> Off he goes as well. Uh, the rain continues to pour down on everybody, uh, making the mood back up in the somber. Uh, let's see. Hugo Boss is not happy. The manager is not happy. The people are not happy. <laughs> Copious and uh, Man Fang, Fredo Fang, uh, will come stomping back. Uh, Copious, D12 against me. If you win, uh, you will have held on to the tarp and can put it back in place. 11. <laughs> that shit is in the wind. <laughs> It's like one of those trampolines. I'm just impressed you let me walk back and didn't say I landed at the top of some pine tree somewhere. <laughs> I, I, I was nice. I, I was nice about it because you get they're on the road, so it's kind of open. <laughs> of course, Hardis died, so you know. Yeah, I don't know why. He just got he blown was, right. He was impaled. Hardis, uh, give me a DC 15 strength roll, please. To pull yourself off the roll, roll a die 20, add your strength bonus. He's got no sound. Yes, he he's muted on his mic. 18. Uh, Copious and Fredo, you take two hit points of damage from your uh, poor landing. Uh, so the tarp is gone. Uh, Hugo Boss says he's got another tarp, uh, and he is not financially responsible for the loss of the first tarp. He's not going to financially recover from this. Oh, so as the rain continues, uh, he, he does have another tarp. Uh, and uh, Michelle, Michael, uh, Robert Zeppelin, you can now speak Hobgoblin again. And the warlord who passed his saving throw looks at you and goes, what the hell, man? It's that food in that town. Oh my belly! Do you do you want Hugo to use another tarp? Oh, is that one gone completely? Yeah. yeah. I guess I don't have anything to cover this. Uh, you know what? We can all crawl under a wagon while the storm's going on. I assume it was the storm that blew the tarp away, right? Sure, we'll go with that. Keep in mind there are 21 employees, including your each manager. Other. Uh, there is also 15 or more hobgoblins. And these are, what, 10-foot-long wagons? How, how much does Hugo want for the additional tarp? You've already bought and paid for it. He oh. just needs to know if you want to roll it out or not. Yeah, pull it out, drape it across the, so we can get everybody undercover again. Okay, uh, everybody's going to sleep on wet grass, so uh, who's taking watch? I need two of you. I'll take watch. Since I don't Leaf, Leaf and you Haggis. Three. Leaf and Haggis, give me a uh, constitution check to see if you are going to be tired in the morning. Um, 17. 17, 17 eh? Both safe. Uh, you will be able to go ahead and get enough sleep that you will not face exhaustion. Uh, the morning dawns anew, and it is still raining. Uh, the trail slash road is mud. I'm going to need two people to give me strength checks to give it a push so they can move. I got Robert. Mad thing. And man thing. Robert man thing. Give me strength checks. Check. Come on, man thing. Big roll. Big number. 18. That was mine. Oh, well, what are you rolling mine for? There you go. 19 for him, 18 for me. Both wagons are freed from the mud due to the uh, fantastic strength of you two. Uh, and you can continue on your way. You because of, of the poor road conditions, it will take you a little bit longer to get to the ruins. You will arrive at evening time. The burnt timbers are there. This place looks like you got hit by an inferno. There is no stable because it suffered two attacks. No one way. by you and one by the dragon. Uh, some of the employees weep 
openly at the destruction because this has been their home for quite a while. Uh, however, you are at this location. Uh, perception check, everybody. 18. 24. 17. 24. Fumble for me. You want to do it yourself? Just click it. And 15 for Manfang. Only Robert of Zeppelin does not hear the rider coming on a horse. A few moments later, remember undulating hills at this location, a rider appears on one of the hills. Uh, just as the rain stops, the quarter moon comes out because, of course, it's been a while since the full moon. Uh, and the rider slowly approaches uh, your large group, who I assume are prepping for tents. Uh, the rider comes up, and it is a human female, uh, right around 20 years old, dressed in leather armor. Uh, ho there! Is the roadhouse not in business anymore? No. Uh, is Copious there? Yeah. Everybody is there. Oh, Copious, of course it's in business. Are you looking for a place to stay? Did Did it discount, move? <laughs> discount rooms available. <laughs> what happened here? Uh, well, Dragon. Dragon, burn it to the ground. We're rebuilding bigger, better. Temporary uh, temporary accommodations are being established as we speak. Behind me, of course, since they're going up. Uh, no. You could rent a plot a plot, a, uh, you could rent a plot of land. Can Copius try a uh, persuasion check to see if he can convince her that uh, it's worth a stay? You can, but uh, Man Fang, D12 against me. D12. Oh, you just had to talk, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> he said... <laughs> I got a 7. 11. Uh, go ahead, Copius. Uh, without penalty? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, God, dice are not with me today. 12. Uh... No, I thank you for your kindness. Uh, oh, there, looking at Manfang. You're one of them uh, dragonborn, aren't you? Yes. Hola. What are you, what are you doing with the, in the company of uh, Hobgoblins? Well, or not, I'm not in the company. The, 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 you see the, uh, the, the, you know? <laughs> Good Fredo. Good Fredo. <laughs> Uh, I'm he's not part of our there, crew. There, he's not with that. The he's hobgoblin. a mute. He's a mute. And how am I speaking? The hobgoblins are employed just like the some of the other people over here. Why can't I hate all of you? <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, no, I thank you. Uh, we had we had heard that uh, a, a calamity had occurred to the roadhouse. Uh, I will leave you to your reconstruction for it. Uh, the writer turns and heads back from whence it came. Which direction was that? West. Two things are immediately noticed by all of you. Roll a die odd, roll a die even. Odd or even, just one roll. Odd. I got even. Odd. You roll. You roll it back. Even. Everybody raise your hand if it was odd. Odd. The tarp that you lost last night has arrived. Hey, we got a tarp. Let's go. Again. Free tarp. Uh, on, on the on the gust of wind. Who had even a single piece of parchment flutters out of the saddlebag of the horse of the rider. Good. I'm going to uh, collect that parchment. <laughs> uh, Leaf and Robert, D20 straight up, 
high one, the parchment heads towards that one. Four. Thirteen. Uh, Leaf, you can head over towards Robert as yep. the paper quaffs over. Hit it. See if you hit it. Really high and really low would be bad. Fifteen. Really high, you just tear it in half. You, you snatch it out of the air. Uh, let's see. Uh, who saw the wanted poster in Triorki? That was oh, no. Felix. I did. Wait, where's uh, Triorki? Uh-uh, Felix ha saw it. Haga saw it in Triorki. Felix yeah. saw it in the, the place. In the it tavern. Is, That's where Felix oh, okay. saw okay. it. Okay. Okay. It is the same thing. It has a rough estimate noting uh, found in the company of a dragonborn little people, a human, and an ugly person. I'm going to look at Leaf's head. Wait, wait. 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 <laughs> What's that? I'm going to look at Leaf say, hey, we got to stop her. She's going to go rat us out. That This is a wanting po wanted poster. Yeah. How, well, she needs to be taken down. <clears throat> if, all right. Well, I'm going to I'll turn into a war horse and you hop on my back, see if we can run her down. Oh, holy hell. Isn't Let's she, ride, Sea Biscuit. Is she racing away or is she just galloping away? Yeah. She's just galloping away. All right. I'll convert. Sure. Da -da, da -da, I will da -da, now. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Do any of us notice yeah. that all of a sudden Leaf has turned into a war horse and. and uh, if you don't, the workers do, wondering uh, why they're bearing the brunt of all the heavy lifting when those two jackasses are just leaving. Management. Apparently. Go it's their executive break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go, we we'll hit after. Any of our mounts, right? They're still back in Triorki. Yes, because you walked. We were trying to track the... the it's creek. a long walk. You, you have no giant chickens. You have no zonkeys. Our zonkeys no, so you see, because Robert mounted me. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I don't know why you're not. Felix, Felix is going to be pissed. Yes, he is. He should be back at the village watching out for the zonkeys. Yeah. yeah we can do that. Uh, Leaf and Robert, uh, you speed with the fury uh, that only a strong war horse can do. Clunk, 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 clunk. Down one hill, up the next. Uh, ahead of you, short distance away, uh, you see barely in the uh, crescent moonlight, uh, the rider just seemingly taking her time. Not a big deal. Uh, does she hear you coming? Probably. 18, she hears you coming. And she spurs her light war horse. What distance are we from her right this moment? Uh, you will be light war horse from Red Bay. Ninety yards. Ninety yards. Holy shnikes! Is right, that well, when the big kick. lizard comes out of the side of the woods in the moonlight? We just see it take her off the top of the horse. <laughs> That'd be funnier than hell. <laughs> Uh, egg shaped jumper from a tree. That's true. <laughs> egg shaped <laughs> jumper from the horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what would be funnier if the egg shape <laughs> came up behind the war horse. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, you said she was on a war horse. Her, she's on the white war horse. You are so. on the heavy war horse. <laughs> so uh, you can try and chase her down, but she's held back for election. I'm, I'm putting, I'm going to spur it on. Uh, percentage against me. Get her, Dad. Get her. Not me. Oh. This. Hang on. I got to find my dice. 22. Oh, <laughs> the one here. There's the other one. 98. All right. You are definitively gaining on her as her horse has traveled a while. Fresh. Give me a constitution check. You're not fresh. It's uh, oh yeah, you would uh -oh, be fresh. I slept yeah, in you, the wagon on the way. That's right. You would be fresh. So. I slept. That is a do I get a plus fifteen and three eighteen. Yeah, no, I'm just you're good. So you're definitely gaining on her. 
Grandpa, can you shoot a lightning bolt out of your mouth? Out of my ass. <laughs> this is what I had for lunch. Hey, fire. don't call Robert that. <laughs> you'll start shooting fire out of your I just I need to know when it, hell. I just I need to know shoot. ranges. Uh, you guys are closing. You're probably 40 yards. Uh, you are at the bottom of the gully. She is at the top. Uh, she stops her horse and draws her blade and yells out, who follows me? Oh, man. Now I got to say a word. Just charge on in there. I can't say anything. Nay, hey, Winnie, 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 Winnie. It's Winnie, she, Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. She Simple Jack. Sword, whips out her bow, knocks an arrow, and waits. Uh, she's Apparently going to wait for you to get close and looks like she's going to shoot at you. Are we about 120 foot yet? 120 yeah. foot? Uh, almost. There. You want to keep going? Yeah. 120 foot. Roll initiative against me there, Robert. Rolling. I like to imagine yeah. that when Leith transforms, he doesn't like Woof. He just it, wait. He just explodes and then turns into another animal. Five. She fires off a missile odd even. <laughs> uh, okay, and she lets loose. Like a goose. Not 20, right into the chest plate of the uh. mount. Uh, Leaf, you're going to take uh, seven hit points of damage, and I need you to give me a survival check to see if you maintain your feet. That's a 16 and 8, 24. You continue to charge forward even though you have an arrow in your chest. Robert, you are within 120 feet. Firebolt for 9 points of damage. Does she get knocked off her horse? She does not. Uh, round 2. Knocks an arrow on even. Going for the horse. Uh, 15 plus 217. Uh, my armor class is 7. I wait, it's no, it's what the horse is, isn't it? 12. So, uh, it? four more damage. Give me another survival check. No, more. I don't know. What's our range That's now? 24 again. 90. Uh, feet. Yep, Leaf has two arrows in his chest, but he continues to thunder forward. She is knocking a third arrow. Robert, it is your turn. Oh, nope, that's right. There we go. Uh, thirteen points. She does not look so hot. Maintains grip on her horse. Horse next. It is even. It's coming at Robert. Good, about the damn time. Uh, 14 plus 2, 16. Not even close. Over his head it goes. Uh, you're up, Robert. What's our distance? 60. 60? All right. You're, I, I'm assuming you're closing about 30 each, uh, since he is a heavy war horse and he's hauling your ass around. 19 points to the horse. Uh, horse crumbles immediately. Is she trapped underneath it? Please say yes. She is not. Uh, Crap. Both of you see the horse fall. She rolls off of the horse. Uh, Leaf, do you continue forward? How close are we to her? What was it? 60, 60 foot now last now round. Now it's 30 feet. Stop, Leaf. No, I'm going to oh. convert now. I'm going to stop. Let me rephrase that. I'm going to stop and and do my. I'll stop, come to a stop, and do my start my conversion. I would like to imagine that he was running as he converted, and Robert just appeared on his shoulders. So I'll leave, and they started running on top of each other. The uh, you hear the whimpering of the dying horse, but that is all you hear. The sun is fading, uh, but there is still some illumination. No, wait. Yeah, no. Uh, it was crescent moon, so there's still some illumination. Wait, I got night vision, so I should still be able to see her. Your curvature of the hill. Oh, okay. I'm sprinting. 
Fair enough. Uh, do you run faster than Leaf? Uh, my speed's a standard 30. Leaf, are you going to run or are you going to let Robert charge the hill? I'm going to change. I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on myself. Robert, you will be the first on top of the hill. Uh, as you do, you notice she is gangsta style in her bow. Uh, 15 plus 217. Nope. The arrow flies over your head. Uh, if it's a nat 20 on this roll, it hits Leaf. It does not. <laughs> uh, Robert, you are at the top of the hill. You see her proned out, uh, shooting like this, uh, using the horse for cover, not concealment. I am going to... <clears throat> I'm doing a uh, thunder wave. Oof, this is going to go bad. Okay. Oh, this never go wrong. 17 on a roll. If she gets oh. a save. Yeah, she gets a con save. So it's 18. Okay. Well, she only takes half game, four points. What about the horse? Does it get flung? Oh, it gets flung. She no longer has concealment. Uh, Did she knock her when it flung the horse? I know. It flew okay. straight over her. Uh, she is not doing so well, but she is there. Leaf, after putting the spell on you, do you charge up the hill? Yes, I do. Not even. Six on the murder hobo. Going yep. after Robert. 15 plus two again. 17. 24 uh, to hit me. Arc? No, nope, Arc doesn't go. Uh, that's it. You can tell she is badly injured. I'm delivering a blow right to her face, knock her ass out. Uh, advantage to hit her because she is proned out. Uh, go ahead and roll. Don't roll too high. Don't roll too low. At advantage. I didn't roll the second one. Action. That's what I'm looking for. <sighs> <clears throat> 22 <laughs> that's it I, at advantage so I have to take the high one don't I yep, yep. you have I crushed do. her skull oh I tripped and came down on it <laughs> Leaf you reach the pinnacle of the hill just as the hilt of Robert's weapon buries about two inches into her brain pan Brain shoots out of her ears. No, I, well, I Robert, it. <laughs> we probably just, let's search her body. Yep, search her body. Search yep. the uh, horse. If I can make a suggestion, uh, cast uh, detect magic. I can detect. I don't have detect magic. I have identify. Oh, okay. I'll cast detect magic. See if she's got anything. It's glowing nope. blue. All right. Magic. She's got about 18 gold coins with her, uh, right. some rations, some uh, delving gear. Is that what's uh, in the uh, shit? What's it called? Uh, the horse. horse bags. Bags. Yeah. So, okay. So I was going to go look for the horse. <laughs> it's splayed out. Uh, other than that, it just looks like she was probably a low level adventurer. Right. Not anymore. We'll, do, we'll drag her off down in the bushes then. Put her over there. Do you drag the horse down? Nope. Just going to set a couple bonfires underneath it and walk away. Uh, after that, what do you want to do? Head back. Uh, Copious, uh, under the expert tutelage of you, Haggis, and Manfang, uh, you have uh, gotten Tent City risen. Uh, you found uh, the water well that was at the, uh, or the uh, establishment. Uh, you've scouted it out, and you may begin uh, talking to your four woman about how you want this building laid out. With that, uh, murder most foul yet again. Hey, we got uh, to kill somebody. You got to kill somebody. You had real combat. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo. Uh, let's, uh, Hoggets, what'd you think? I didn't hear you. I uh, what? What did you say? 
He's oh, yeah, formulating I, his opinion. I know we're all used to man thing wording it out. But <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Hoggis. Oh, what do you think? Um, kind of what? Um, Good reaction, Haggis. We love it. I like. <laughs> I like. Uh, he is a man uh, of words. I'm looking forward to the next one. There you go. <laughs> man fan, now, 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 man fan, give me an answer. Now. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I like it. I can do stuff, Mike. I'm smart. I don't know what to do with my hands. He is not great at it. Uh, middle Frank, what'd you think? I, I always like it. I, I love this adventure. Yeah, I, cause you got, you got to murder somebody. Yeah, but I didn't murder. I just took care of the witnesses. Uh huh. It's only it's only murder if somebody saw me do it. <laughs> this I would I would think this would be a good TV show if we didn't have such gruesome and violent things. That's what would make it popular on cable TV. Yeah, that's, that's true. Jason, what'd you think? I really think that Tobias has a Batman and young Frodo Baggins. I I think I don't need to ever cast Unseen Servant again. Because this boy has no prospects in Hobgoblin society. So we might as well go ahead and uh, press gang him into permanent service. Wow. Who you have your finger? You're with us forever. Maybe this is the uh, high school janitor turned principal. Yeah. So, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. what they did to John Wick when they cut off his finger in like the third movie. Yeah. Uh, Frank Senior would think. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, it's not like we wantonly murder people, and you know. I think you need to rewatch the tape. <laughs> it's all about well, it's all about survival. She saw that, knew who we were. She he had the out and thing. More Remember, than a, it's about family. more than apparent to me that it's she was that. headed back to get some help to collect that it's reward. Well, she got her reward. Yep. Early. She didn't have family. That's it. That's so never go against the family. Yeah, I'm getting tired of all the disparaging remarks made about my supposed her. offspring. This is bullshit. It's family. I'm going to say. Folks, this has been Murder Hello Inc. and the Margu campaign for me and the other Pendejos. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about me and the join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap. Uh, the link is on there. Thank you very much to Fire Dog Dice for Dice that really screwed with the party tonight. Uh, thank you uh, to Adventure Sense uh, for making sure that our game doesn't think no matter how bad we play or roll. Uh, and uh, thank you to our newest sponsor. Long games galore. Uh, check it out. Buy a batch for five bucks. Play for free. Just sign up uh, to make sure there's spots available. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we will see you on Tuesday for the talk show. Big game kiss and wave. Uh, bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.